Hi guys and welcome to another DIY tutorial. I've been getting a lot of requests to do a response postcard inside of Microsoft Word and I thought I'd show you that today. It is a bit fiddly, Microsoft Word is not the best software to use if you're doing designs and things like this, but if you're doing something simple for a once-off event um, and you're not a business and you're doing it for your own party or your own wedding and you only have Microsoft Word then this definitely can work for you. This is the design I'm going to be showing you how to make today so let's get started. The first thing you need to do is open up a new document. I'm now going to make the shape of the RSVP card so I come up to insert shapes and I choose this square one and I just drag a rectangle. And now I'm just going to come up here and change the size of the RSVP card. Now I've just entered this size in millimeters and that's because we use millimeters in Australia but if you're in the US or another country and you want to use um, inches you'll probably have an inches measurement here. It would just be 4 by 6 as this is the standard size for an RSVP postcard. I'm now going to remove the color from my shape and I just come up to here to shape fill and then click on no fill and the box is blue so I'm going to make that black so I just come up here to the pencil and I click on black and I'm also going to go back into there and go to weight and choose half a point. So now that I have the base for my RSVP postcard I'm going to go ahead and enter in all the details. You can't actually type text inside this shape so I'm going to have to add some text boxes and to do that I go to insert and then text box draw text box and then add that to my document. The first thing I want to write is the response heading so I'm just going to go ahead and type that in. If I click away you'll notice that there is a black box around the response text. I don't want that and I'm going to get rid of it by re-clicking and going up to the little pencil and then going no outline. So now that's removed the box and I can keep going. So now I click on the home tab and here is where I'm going to change the font. The feature font I've decided to use today is called CAC Champagne. It is a free to use font and I will have a link to download it in the description. I'm going to make it 48 points and then just resize the text box to make sure that all the text is showing. And so now I'm just going to make a copy of that so I have a duplicate text box and to do that you just click Command C or Control C on a keyboard and then Command V and Control V. So for this text box I'm going to type in Deliver To and change the size to 28. Size the text box and just put it into this position. I'm going to go back up to the response text and take a copy again and in this box I'm going to change the font to times and also the size to 10. And with these presets I'm going to go through and create the rest of the text. Okay, so I've just typed out the remaining text and I'm going to tweak the format a little bit. So for the postage stamp, I'm just going to center align it. Going to make the point size 6.5. I'm going to make sure the box looks like a postage stamp. I'm also going to go to shape format, align text and put it in the middle and then move that in place. Now Word doesn't actually have the function of snapping to grid so to get everything straight you're going to have to just do this little trick which is go to insert shapes and then this line here and then I'm going to just draw a line by holding down my shift key to keep it straight and then let go. So now that's given me a straight line that I can delete soon um, after I align everything to the left. So I'm going to use this line now to make sure everything is aligned nicely. I next come up to insert and then shape and then choose the square again. 
and then just draw a square around the please affix postage stamp text here and then go back to shape fill and click no fill and then for the outline I'm going to actually select the black and I'm going to go back in and go weight and choose half a point I'm going to make sure that's aligned to the text and then that section's done next I want to make the circles that guests can tick whether they're coming or not coming and to do that I'm going to go back to insert shapes this time I'm going to choose the circle I'm going to draw a circle and then come up to shape fill have no fill uh, back to the pencil and choose black for the outline I'm going to go back in and make sure the weight is half a point I'm just going to move this text across and then have a look just going to click back on the circle and copy with command C or control C and then paste with command V or control V okay I'm happy with that next thing I'm going to do is select accept with pleasure and make that bold by going to home and then clicking the bold button and I'm also going to do that for this one as well The next thing I'm going to do is add some lines. So I come up to insert, shapes, and then line. I'm going to add a middle line first. So I just need to click on the document, hold down shift, and then draw until I'm happy. I think we'll be about there. The default color is blue. So I'm going to change that to black by just clicking this button here. And then I go back to insert and shapes, line again. And I'm going to do a horizontal one this way to about there. I'm going to change the color again to black. And I'm just going to use my arrows on my keyboard to tab it up to where I want it. And then I just want to make a copy of that line. So Command C or Control C on the keyboard and then Command V. And tab again with your arrows until you get it where you would like it and then I'm going to do another copy and take it down to dietary requirements and then another one for the number attending but with this one I'm going to make it smaller so just click on the little green circle hold down the shift key and go across until you have the size you want I'm going to move that across, make it a little bit smaller, and I'm happy with that placement. Now that I've completed the left hand side, I'm just going to come up to this blue line that I created earlier and delete it. So from this point, you could just go ahead and save your work and you don't have to do any more. But if you would like to add an image, I'm going to show you how to do that next. You can drag and drop straight from your desktop, or you could go to insert pictures picture from file find your picture and then click insert now before you go ahead and move your image you'll need to go to picture format wrap text and then in front of text now you'll be able to pick it up and drag it wherever you would like it so I'm gonna pop it right there and I'm done because this card is 4 by 6 inches, you'll be able to have two per page, which will save on printing costs. You'll just need to copy and paste each element um, a second time. Unfortunately, Word doesn't allow you to just grab everything and do a direct paste. And you do need to go through each element and make sure it's positioned correctly. So again, you just click an element, Command C, Control C way and then command V control V and then you'll just need to move that across to wherever you'd like it and then again click on another element control C control V and then just keep going like that if you are wanting to save some time or are having difficulty we have made an RSVP postcard template that you could use instead I will leave a link to that in the description 
So that's how you make an RSVP postcard in Microsoft Word. Be sure to follow us on Instagram if you're wanting any updates on future videos. Um, and we also interact with you guys on there as well through our stories. Um, it's a good place for you to ask questions and we usually answer them as well. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video.